out people for about the next 20 years. Thank you. with John Brannon, assistant coach of the VCU Rams, getting ready to take on George Mason in the CA Finals. John, philosophically, do you guys talk about the reward or is it let's just lock in on Mason and we'll worry about talking about what it means later? Uh, that's a good question. Uh, <laughs> do a little bit of both. I mean, I think our guys understand, as their guys do, you know, what, uh, what comes with winning this game. And uh, I think it would be foolish as us as coaches if we don't talk about it. But the bottom line is what's going to go on is going to go on in these 94 feet. And there's going to be adjustments made throughout the game. And it's two outstanding teams who have already had outstanding years going against each other. So it should be fun. Now, is it going to be more of the same for you guys? I noticed yesterday you pressed a little bit more against ODU. But is it just, did you notice anything over the last two days that you might tweak? Uh, no, I mean, there's, you know, there's always adjustments to be made uh, before the game, during the game. Uh, but I think each team has gotten this far because they do what they do well. And to go away from that or to come up with any kind of gimmicks, probably, uh, probably going to make you successful in the long run. So I, I, think, I think both teams know what they like to do and should be, uh, like I said before, an interesting matchup with a lot of talented players on the floor. Okay, now when we talked on Saturday, I said, what are the keys to victory? And you can't use the words Eric Maynard. So let's flip it around. What do you need to do in terms of limiting George Mason to ultimately be successful? I tell you what, that's, that's a difficult task. This is the most balanced team in the league. They've got nearly five, uh, you know, four or five guys in double figures in scoring. Um, they do a great job of an interior ability to score inside and ability to score in a perimeter. So, you know, we're not going to stop everything they do. I think one of the things you've got to do is you've got to try to, you know, be as physical as you can and try to rebound. They're one of the top rebounding teams. And like anything else, I think they'll tell you the same thing. We've got to dig in on the defensive end and try to get consecutive stops. And it's coach speak, but the bottom line is that what's what wins games in the long run. And I think the team that does that the best over 40 minutes will have the success. Great. John, thanks for your time. We appreciate it. Good luck. We're with George Mason head coach Jim Laranega preparing for the CA title game tonight against the VCU Rams. Coach? Free throws have been a struggle for all the teams uh, in this tournament, and, and you were 6 for 13 last night. So let's say shooting our free throws better is a key. What else do you guys have to do to be victorious tonight? Well, I'd say there's uh, several things. One, we're going to have to get back and defend against the easy baskets that they get in transition. Mm -hmm. Secondly, we're going to have to rebound the ball because they're, they're really uh, very, very aggressive on the offensive boards. And third, we're going to have to do a good job of handling their full court pressure and getting into our offensive sets. Now, a question you probably weren't asked before last night, but have probably answered three or four times and, and may never be asked again, how's Dre Smith's nose? <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, Dre took an elbow in the last play of the game last night. It's very, very sore. It's not broken. Uh, he'll wear a, a face mask, at least to begin the game. I don't know how long that'll last, but uh, he told me that happened to him one time in a uh, junior college game. He came out and had a great game the next day. So, Good. Now, um, do you talk philosophically, do you talk about the reward or what's next, or are you just locked in on VCU and, and we'll worry about what's next next? No, our, our goal at the beginning of the year is to win the CAA tournament. And we're in the championship game for the third straight year, and they're the defending champions, and, and we want to defend our title. It's a different group of guys, and I know they're all very, very hungry to get back to the big dance. Last question, we'll let you go. Uh, any X's and O's this morning? You've been drawing up any more 30-footers for Cam Long? <laughs> no, but if he can make it, uh, it'll, it'll be good for us. Yeah, right now, it's more about uh, executing the simple things and, and, and playing well together as a team at both ends of the floor. Great. Thanks for your time, Coach. We appreciate it. Good luck.